Hi, I'm Clara from Online Fabric Store. An ironing mat is a great addition to a sewing or craft space. For many projects, it's more convenient than an ironing board and it's easy to store. You can make it any size you want. So let's get started. The materials you'll need are bump interlining or other padding, Thermofleck heat resistant fabric, cotton fabric, I'm using Joel Dewberry Sparrow's Lilac quilting fabric, twill tape or ribbon, thread, a hand sewing needle, scissors, pins, a fabric marker, a ruler, and an iron. Cut the cotton fabric to the size you want. Add an extra inch to the width and length for the seam allowance. My ironing mat will be 25 by 35 inches when finished, so I'm cutting it to be 26 by 36 inches. Then cut the heat resistant fabric to the same size. The bump interlining should be cut to the dimensions of your finished ironing mat. With right sides facing, pin the cotton and heat resistant fabrics together. Starting in the middle of one of the sides, sew around the edges with a half inch seam allowance. Leave a gap of about 6 inches. Clip the corners and turn the fabric right side out. Poke out the corners and iron to flatten the edges. Fold in the fabric at the opening and iron. Insert the bump interlining through the opening. It helps to fold it inward so it's easier to unfold when it's inserted. Sew around the entire mat about half an inch from the edges. This will prevent the interlining from moving around. Use an invisible stitch to hand sew the opening closed. Check out our invisible stitch video for more details. If you want to be able to roll up your ironing mat for storage, add twill tape or ribbon to tie it. Roll up the mat and figure out how much ribbon you need. Double fold and sew the ends if the ribbon frays. Pin the ribbon to the middle of one of the sides of the heat resistant fabric. Sew on the ribbon so the stitches match up with the top stitching and the ironing mat is done. The heat resistant fabric will protect your tabletop. When not in use, simply roll up the mat and tie it for easy storage. Thanks for watching this OFS project.